This is Lisa from Old Tech Review, and this is the Dell XPS 13 9310 again, but this time with a new display option. This one has a 3.5K OLED display. So for those of you who are OLED fans and want XPS 13, but hey, that wasn't an option, they have a brand new panel, and this is pretty neat. We are gonna look at it now. So this is the same XPS 9310 that we already reviewed. This is just a new display option. So if you wanna know everything about the XPS 13 latest generation with Intel, Tiger Lake CPUs inside. Well, go watch that video. We'll have a link in the description for you so you can do that. We're going to focus on this new display option, which is paired with the Core i7 configuration. So it's going to hit you at around $1,610 or $20 right now in the United States on Dell's website. So that's the price you're going to have to pay. You got to get a more high end configuration. That does get you 16 gigs of RAM, which of course is soldered with the Dell and a 512 gig SSD. You can go up from there if you want, if you want more storage or something like that, but that's the base minimum configuration. The nice thing here is it's the same price as the 4K IPS display option, which is also a wide gamut display, but 90% of P3, whereas our new OLED option is. 99% of P3. So you have choices and you don't have to pay extra anymore. That's a good thing, right? So this is a thoroughly modern OLED display, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, of course, made by Samsung. They make the OLED displays for laptops. So that's good stuff. It's not like the OLED display that I moaned about on Alienware's, which was pretty old generation, yellow off angle, too much glare and all that sort of thing. This has the same 0.65% anti-glare coating on it. It is a glossy touchscreen just like the 4K IPS one and the full HD plus touchscreen option. And there is still a full HD plus non-touch matte display option for those of you who just hate any kind of glare. There's no bizarre color shifts if you just move a little bit while you're looking at it. It's a nice enough looking display. And of course you're looking at OLED for the super deep blacks and the high contrast level and you certainly have that here in spades. So for those of you who are buying your XPS 13 and you want to do media consumption, that sort of thing. Well, it's certainly lovely, lovely for that on movie watching, particularly high quality movies and 4K movies and all that sort of thing. The display resolution isn't quite 4K, unlike the IPS 4K option. It's a bit lower, but it's close enough. You can see the resolution numbers on screen there. And you do get that little extra height because it's 16 by 10, so that's quite nice. I think the three and a half versus 4K on a 13.4 inch screen, it, either way, you're doing really great. That's high pixel density. Now, in terms of the brightness, it's 400 nits, Dell says, and we measure just about that, in fact. So it's not as quite as bright as the 4K IPS and the full HD plus touchscreens, which are uh, 500 nits, because OLED doesn't get as bright for technical reasons. And okay, for those of you who are gonna say, but my phone says 1,000 nits of brightness max in the marketing specs. They use a different technology on phones. That's why, you know, the, the evil, people used to hate it, pentile matrix or diamond matrix to amplify the brightness on phones, so that's why. So you're not getting it quite there. But that said, the whites look whiter instead of warmer like they do. For example, we have the full HD plus touchscreen model also here, and you can see the difference. So perceptually, you might actually think that they're similar in brightness. Now, one caveat is given the fact that it doesn't get quite as bright as the IPS displays and it is more reflective, even though they have the same ref anti-reflective coating, this is a display that looks great in your man or woman cave. If it's a darker room, it looks fantastic. Under our studio lights or in a very bright environment, it is more reflective and it is less bright. So the blacks won't look black, mostly because it's reflecting light from the glossy display back at you. It is OLED and that typically means PWM and we do have PWM in a low enough range that probably those of you who are sensitive will see it. That's just something that goes hand in hand with OLED unfortunately in laptop displays. Whereas if you get the 4K IPS display option, there is PWM uh, but it's and only a certain brightness level but it's so high up in the megahertz range that really people can't perceive it, even people who are sensitive to it. So keep that in mind if you're one of those PWM triggered folks out there. It does support HDR500 versus HDR400 on the other options that you can get for the XPS 13, which is interesting since this one isn't as bright and it usually is a difference between the darks and the lights, obviously, it's because this one gets even darker. Now it supports Windows 10 HDR mode, which is kind of a, a hot mess a lot of the time. It's something that you enable before you watch an HDR movie maybe and you probably turn it off otherwise because it tends to skew colors and brightness and all that sort of thing. It will automatically, Windows will automatically turn off the HDR HDR mode 
if you unplug it from battery power because it does use a lot more battery power. So you can change that setting if you want, but for battery life, I wouldn't advise it. And honestly, the screen looks lovely enough without trying to use Windows Bort HDR 10 mode anyway. So mm, there's that. Speaking of battery life, you know OLED is typically a battery hit unless you're using a dark theme, which it does ship with, and I suggest you stick with that and try to use, you know, black background web pages whenever you can and all that sort of thing too, because the pixels all actually literally turn off to display black with an OLED display. So then it'll be more power efficient than any other technology out there. But for most of us, when using a laptop, you do have white web pages, white office documents, all that sort of thing. That's where your battery life takes a hit. And the brighter you go, the more OLED consumes relative to IPS at the same brightness level. So in other words, expect about two hours less runtime, even versus the 4K IPS display option, which has shorter run times, of course, than if you go with the full HD plus display options. Those would be the most powerful. So I would be getting about six, six and a half hours of battery life on this one, running it at 200 nits of brightness and just doing streaming video stuff and productivity, leaving the dark mode that's configured in place when doing that. So that's something to keep in mind. So that's the Dell XPS 139310 with the new OLED 3.5K resolution display option. And it is a looker. And yes, you have great contrast and deep blacks. And if you spend a lot of time watching movies, this is probably something that you want. Photo editors, maybe not so much because especially if you're doing photo editing for print or even for the web, because nobody else is going to see those rich blacks. It could actually throw you a little off for photo editing, but I leave that part up to you. Uh, it, you will take a hit on battery life. There is PWM, but if you're not sensitive to PWM, and you don't need the ultra long run times, man, this is a pretty, pretty display in one of the nicer 13 inch ultra books on the market. I'm Lisa from Old Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.